Ida este și președinta Comitetului Paralimpic Român și se ocupă nu doar de copii ăștia, ci de sportul paralimpic în România în general, care crește. Și dacă ați fost cu dacă ați fost cu rechiliciului de anul trecut, ați văzut că au venit și cu medalii de la Londra. Și las pe Andreea și pe Sally să, să, să preia de aici. După o mică lor conversație și după ce o să facă bullet point-urile, puteți să puneți întrebări și la, va fi valabil și pentru următoarele povești pe care le veți auzi. Distracție plăcută și să vedem ce iese. Mersi. because Sally is from Scotland. She can understand Romanian, she can speak Romanian pretty good. I think it's easier for all of us this way. Uh, as Christy said, she's the president of the National Paralympic Committee, which is an organization with the same statute as the Olympic Committee, only that it deals with uh, athletes with physical disabilities. And I met her last winter when I wrote about the three brothers from Cluj, who are, have a visual impairment, and yet they are doing performance swimming. And uh, Sally is going to tell us how she she discovered them and how sports has changed their life since then. So first of all, how, how did you discover them? Well, um, in the first place, um, I was um, asked to be chef de mission to the Romanian Paralympic team in 2008 in Beijing. And uh, I went there uh, and I went with a group of physically disabled um, Ad uh, adults really, and not very young, any of them, all over 20, all over 30, I think, in fact, yes. And um, when I was there, I saw a lot of uh, blind athletes wandering around the Marlowe village. And uh, they all went hand on hand, hand on the shoulder. And I kept on watching them, and I thought, oh, we've got a blind school in Cluj. Maybe I could start a young team because that's what I was worried about was the fact that uh, the Paralympic sport consisted of mainly very, not older, but older athletes, but there was no young athletes. So no when, me. in Romania, yes. So when I came back to Cluj, within a week, I was at the blind school in Cluj, and I knew them, I'd worked with them for the last 10 years, and I asked them whether we could start a team of uh, young blind athletes or visually impaired athletes and I said I don't know what sports you would like and uh, one of the people there said we would like to do swimming. I said okay let's start swimming. So uh, from 2009 we started a group of 10 swimming and three of them that were in that team were the Chanat brothers uh, and sisters so there was two boys and one girl and um, two of them actually qualified for London in 2012 and uh, so that was after three years. Um, we also started judo in the blind school and we started futsal for, which is football, five-a-side football for the blind and it's growing and uh, everything is doing very well because we've now attracted a young group of athletes uh, and visually impaired athletes and physically disabled athletes to come to take up sport, Paralympic sport. Through the school? Mm -hmm. Through the school. So the, so the Charles Brothers started training at the school, you said? With a yes, they started at the swimming pool. Um, we have two Olympic swimming pools in uh, Cluj. So they started at the Olympic um, Polytechnic swimming pool. And now I know that they're training with a healthy team? So yes, um, we changed the trainer last year and now, um, and this is the move that I would really like to carry on, is they are swimming with non-disabled people. So they're swimming with the uh, Chisame Club in Cluj. They're uh, training every morning and every afternoon. So they're fully integrated in the swimming uh, team. Uh, the judo are doing exactly the same. We have three totally blind athletes uh, in the judo team, all training with the girls team and enjoying it very much, I may say, um, and doing very well. Uh, and it's a great surprise for the other, the other ones who are uh, normal sighted to see how well these young 
um, children are going are moving in the Paralympic sport and in fact the trainer keeps on telling me that they're actually better they see better in their without eyes they see better how to actually work with judo and they progress almost doubly as quickly as the ones without a disability. Mm 